trying to lose. Hey, what's going on, guys? This is Brad with Spite Fitness, and I want to do kind of a fast video today. Um, you have to forgive my disorganization here. The idea kind of came to me mid training session, um, but I think it's an interesting topic or a good topic, especially kind of given the times, right? Where everyone's kind of um, trying to build their own home gyms and scrambling to find equipment and looking for for decent things, right? And and by looking for decent things, as in like gym items, one of the primary items for any home gym is gonna be a barbell. Um, in fact, I've had some friends reach out to me recently asking me to buy barbells off of me, um, but also, you know, just asking for feedback and ideas and guidance on, you know, barbells, right? Because there's, there's a whole bunch out there. Um, and you can spend um, top dollar for some of the very, very best barbells, or, you know, you can spend, you know, not that much for some, some pretty decent barbells. Um, and so on that vein of not spending a whole lot and trying to break the bank, I wanted to talk about one of the barbells that I have, which has been an amazing barbell. And in fact, it's been my primary training barbell for many, many years now. And that's this bar right here, right? And um, this, is the, um, this is the Cap OB um, 86 Papa Bravo Charlie Kilo, right? Is the, the nomenclature for this bar. Um, so Cap Barbell. And this is a thousand pound rated barbell. Um, it has a, a center neural. The, the knurling on this bar is not aggressive, but it's satisfactory. And this barbell has held up very, very well. You know, I've been using this barbell now for, uh, well, honestly, the better part of 10 years. Um, and this, this bar has held up remarkably well. Now, you, there is some oxidation that's, that's come onto the bar um, because I'm not hyper meticulous. I don't, I don't take like super good care of the bar. Um, it, it was in Florida with me, you know, out in the garage, so fairly humid conditions. Um, so anyway, the, oxida the oxidation on the bar doesn't really bother me. Um, but I do get a lot of questions about barbells and things like that. And I think for most people, you know, this barbell as a general purpose training barbell is really, really great, especially if your focus is powerlifting. Now, if you're more into the Oli stuff, this may not be a great recommendation for you because this isn't really meant as an Oli bar. Um, this is more specifically for, for powerlifting. Um, but as a general purpose bar, like this bar is, is great. You know, I've had, I've had uh, around 700 pounds on this bar for squats. I've had over 700 pounds on this bar for deadlifts. Um, you know, I, I, I'm doing a session right now where I've got 405 doing some rep work um, on my bench and I'll show a couple clips of me benching with this barbell. Um, but suffice to say that this, this barbell has been, like I said, my, my training barbell for, I mean, my primary training barbell for almost 10 years and has held up remarkably well. I am very, very pleased with it. The price point on this bar is less than $200. Um, so if you're, you know, one of the many people out there that are looking to establish your own home gym, you know, I, I would encourage you to look at this, this barbell as maybe your, uh, your go-to, um, you know, if you're looking for just kind of a general um, training purpose barbell that's not like super specific or super fancy, um, this bar gets the job done, um, very versatile, it, it's very stable and, and has held up. Um, and like I said, I've not been overly gentle with this barbell. Um, you know, now I haven't dropped it on safety racks and done, you know, pin presses and things or pin pulls and, you know, a bunch of other crazy things with it to try to, try to warp the bar. Um, I've been fairly um, careful with it in that regard. Um, and I've never dropped it from squat, from squat height. Um, you know, I have dropped from waist on deadlift, but you're making, you know, bilateral, uh, you know, contact with the ground. So there's not really any bending to the bar. Um, but like I said, the bar has held up really, really well. And I just wanted to highlight this as a great uh, general purpose training barbell for anyone that's looking to establish their home gym. Um, and just talk about how pleased I am with this barbell in case it might serve as some benefit to you. Um, yeah, that's it. Uh, I could talk more about the specs and things like that, but that's all available. I'll include some of that information in the description box below so you guys can take a look at those specs and things like that. But um, in terms of you know what you're, what you're getting for the price, I don't think you can beat this barbell. Um, it's an amazing, amazing barbell. Uh, if you have some more specific questions, go ahead and leave them in the, in the chat box below. I'll be sure to respond. I appreciate you guys continuing to support me in the channel with everything that you guys do. All likes, shares, and subs. I, I really do appreciate it. Thank you guys very much. If you've seen the video too and haven't subbed up yet, wish that you wouldn't. And remember guys, no matter what it is you think you can't do, like, find some decent equipment for yourself to build your own home gym, 
It's never gonna happen unless you get in there and train this fight. You're either gonna find an excuse or you're gonna find a way. And I hope that you guys continue to find the way. Thanks for watching this one. I'll see you in the next one.